Greetings, YouTube. It is I. I'm Biggie. And it's time for the most awesome game in existence. Ah! His eyes. They are staring into my soul as it rotates around in a hypnotic trance. And the UFO has just gone away. Help me, Pa Man. My super awesome UFO of awesome power has been stolen while I wasn't looking. And it's only up to you to save the world from whoever abducted it. Yes, I, it is I, the evil scientist that has abducted your spaceship. And used it to destroy the world. And that is, my friends, Pa Man. And Banwo. Torikaize, I think that's what it's called. And this game is based on a manga called Perman. And why is it called Perman? Because it's not quite Superman. Yes, the Japanese have bad puns too. But I suppose it's not a pun. It's more of a bad uh, naming conventions. Which I guess they've always had. This game, it is you can see a platformer with some hints of strange game elements of some mini games that's generally regarded as one of my, the most awesome game of my childhood but here we are Pawman. man you don't have a mask and a cape we should go out and save the world with our fist we can punch our enemies or we could step on them I prefer the brute punching method and we could uh, hold our punches for whatever reason actually we can hold our punches because once we get this power up we can punch air like so and it does have a sprite uh, limit error so if you punch to a wall machine gun fire yeah anyways what we got was called the PA signaler. Or the PA signal. Use it to call our friends. <laughs> Over here is perhaps the most evil weapon in existence. I shudder to think how, whether if I should use it or not. This weapon. We turn our enemies into fairies. <sighs> what kind of evil is PA man up to? You will never know. This is a power up as well. You step on your head. Turn you into a. <sighs> I should to think of the future of that person. Turn them into animals. You know what? I'm not gonna use it anymore. I am speechless at this uh, evil, evil ability of jumping into a hole of pipe. Even Mario can't do this. And pancakes. What could be more evil than pancakes? Now we switch, switch back to our fists. Thank goodness. That uh, poor man doesn't have to suffer the fate of living life forever as a furry. And of course, with the destructive power of our uh, air fists, we reveal hidden items like this one up and this other paw signal. No! I know what you're up to. You're trying to keep me down that cliff. Causing me an embarrassing game over. Not so silly karate guy. And of course, a hidden dimension door. Which leads us to this random super villain dude. Where he will ask us to play a game of pure challenge. Let's spot the difference. There's only one difference on this map. 
Where is it? Where is the difference? Oh, it's you. One of you has your eyes closed and the other one does not. I see you through your tricks. Master of disguises. That's who he is. The master of disguises. Now leave us with a gift. Of one up. Is he a real enemy? Or is he just perchance some random throwaway villain? We'll never know. And with now, we'll face our first boss. What's this? It's not even a proper boss battle. Oh, it's the old Noid all over again. Yes, folks. They switched from a boss battle into this board game type type uh, thing. And of course, we could land on a couple of squares. If you land on a white square, as such, you'll hit your opponent, like we just did. If you land on an ice cream square, you heal one life. If your opponent lands on a white square, he gets to hit us. And if we land on a P, we get to use one of our paw signals to call our friends up for help. We call, call up Booby the, the, the monkey, the Paco, the girl, or Pa Young. Right now our health is kind of low, so I think I'll call Booby to heal us. Booby gives us a banana. Nice. Oh. He's cheating. Punching us in the face. It does a random bit of damage between 1 and 3. Right, now we don't have any health issues. We're gonna call on Payan, the big brute. Just gonna punch him to senseless. There we go. To win is simple. You either decrease his health to 0, or get to the goal right here. In the blue square. And then we'll defeat him. And if he lands on a P square, what happens of course is he takes one of our P signals. But now, I'm gonna call on Pa Yang and defeat him once and for all. And that folks is the end of our first stage. With the awesome responsibilities of Pawn Man. Next up, the Invisible Man stage. Stay tuned, folks. It's Amy, I'm Biggie, and I'll be back. I'm Pawn Man.